Hi everyone, welcome to the session where we'll learn about unpacking Python sequence into separate variables. So what are the rules for uh, unpacking Python sequence? The very first is there should not be a mismatch in the data and the assigned variable. And also uh, the second rule will be unpacking will work with uh, like objects that are iterable like uh, tuple list, dictionary, string, file, iterators and generators. So we'll just go through this, okay, initially. So suppose I'll say that we have two variables, a, comma, b this is equals to 50 comma 100 now if we execute this then a will be assigned the value of 50 and b will be assigned the value of 100 now instead if we convert this into tuples now if you say again also a will be assigned a value of 50 and b will be assigned a value of 100 if we say 200 here okay my tuple has three values and i'm assigning it to two variables it will show here too many values to un unpack and this is what I meant here. There should not be a mismatch in the data and the assigned variables. Similarly, if I say here a comma b comma c is this, okay? Not enough values to unpack. So in both the cases, the number of variables what you are assigning on the right should be equal to the number of variables or the items which is present inside your tuple, dictionary, list, or any other data type. Suppose data is equals to we'll take a list and we'll say Kohli and then he had scored somewhere around 12250 runs and he has hit around 70 centuries and then his strike rate average per match is 54 and his uh, date of birth is 1990 comma 1031 suppose anything like this okay if you execute this so if you check here okay data will be totally your uh, entire list now if you want to assign it okay using unpacking how will you do you'll say name comma runs comma centuries comma average comma dob which is equal to data now if you run this value everything will be assigned whatever value is present in data will be unpacked and assigned to the individual variables if you see inside the list we have five values one two three four five and here we have assigned one two three four five values so if you say name is run is it should be run centuries is this much average is this and the date of birth is this now if i further want to assign the date okay dates into year month and day so till here it will be the same what i will do and then i'll say year month and day which is equals to data now if you run this and if you say here year is 1990 month is 10 and day is 31 so it is automatically it is assigning variables one by one we will also do one more thing Unpacking also works with an any object that's are that are iterable. Okay, iterable means you can apply loops. Okay, if I say so, what is s? So iterate iterable means if I say index zero is r, then index two is o. Okay, index one is o. So it means these are iterable. Now what I will do, I will further assign it a comma b comma c comma d comma e because there are five values which is equal to s. If I execute this, what will be the value? A is r. Okay, b is o, c is c, d is k, and e is y. So all this value is being assigned. So till here, I believe you are fine. Okay. Now after this, what I will do? The next, we will look into unpacking elements from iterables of arbitrary length using common throw away variables. Okay. Okay. So common throw away variables in Python. When unpacking, we may sometimes want to, dis to discard certain values. Okay. We don't want to take uh, work with all the variables. Python doesn't have any special uh, method or syntax for this, but we can use the throw away variables. Okay. For this star underscore is unpacking or star is is uh, stored into a variable named underscore so how does it work i'll say that i am not interested in the run centuries and the average i'm just interested into the name and the and the date of birth what i will say i'll say instead of this underscore instead of this underscore and also instead of this underscore now if i say this then here my name is same now, even if you say that the value is existing okay well, i'll reset everything control f control f okay. i'll say data it does not exist now i'll execute this data is this and then i'll execute this so if you see here name is holy and data date data is 
the entire thing and D of B. Date of birth is 1990-1031. If you see here, what is underscore? First, what will happen when it will assign this one underscore will contain this value. Then in this case, the next value underscore. Okay, here the underscore will be replaced by the value in that underscore will be replaced by 70 and then eventually it will be replaced by 54. So finally, we have the value of underscore as 54, which is will not use it will just keep it. Okay, it's kind of dummy. You don't use it. So if you don't want to use all the like fields in unpacking, you can use this way or there are several other method that I'll show you now. We'll say names, name, comma. So what happens here? You see here name runs and other info is like we're storing the data into this but whether this will work yes or no no right because there are too many variables to unpack in my data there are one two three four five variables and in my uh, left hand side i have only three values to unpack so this will not work if i say something like this comma underscore comma dob now also if you see look at it properly we have how many whether it will work let's check Right, because we have one, two, three, four, five fields on the left hand side, and also we have five fields on the right hand side. If we delete this, okay, suppose if we delete one of the fields here, and if we try, now it will fail because it says that too many values to unpack. Instead of this, if we give this this value, this will work now because this star 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 underscore is nothing but it is unpacking everything. What I have explained here, right? star underscore is unpacking is star into a variable and underscore whatever number of variables even if i remove this runs okay ideally we have two fields name name and dop and rest everything will come under star underscore so if we execute this so if you give the value what's the value with underscore so the last field okay all the three middle uh, field which is in middle it will come okay so coli will go into the name and dop will have this all these three fields will come inside and star underscore. Now, what happens if I use the different notation? Suppose I say it like this, okay. Now, if you see here, ideally there are five fields, but this field will act as one. So this will not work. If I execute this, it will say too many values to unpack. Now, if I give here star. And if I execute this, why it is not working? Because if you see the date of birth field has three values and I have only one values here to unpack. So if I give underscore comma and if I execute it now, so this is as ran properly. So instead of two underscore comma, I can give just one field star underscore. Okay. So instead of two underscore uh, star uh, underscore comma underscore, I can just give one throwaway variables and it will run properly. now. Okay. So you can see it is running properly. Whatever we are doing, it's all depends upon the number of fields in the right hand side and the number of fields on my left hand side. Okay. And also the last point that I want to discuss is, is uh, unpacking is or can also be done using the split point. Suppose if I say my data is equals to ABC colon XYZ colon PQ colon XYZ comma PQR. If I execute this, okay, now I can say there are three colons so i can split my values based on the colon and i can assign it so i will say first comma and last which is equals to data dot split and split is being done based on the colon values now if i execute this if i execute this what it will say my first is this value and last is so this will be really helpful in case where you are using the directories where you will have in Unix and Linux where you have lot many uh, folder name followed by the colon there it will be very helpful to segregate the values in the specific field. Also here if you see I'll say I'll show you some if we remove the last field okay now if we execute this it will not be done. If I say here start now it will run fine. So what will the value of middle? both my XYZ and PQR will come into middle because I have given star. Similarly, if I give, I'll remove this and I'll give star first, okay? My last value, okay? My PQR will come into middle here and the rest everything before this colon, last colon, everything will come into first. So let's, let's execute this. So what is first? First is ABC and is PQR. So this is how we can use unpacking tools 
to assign the values of the data collection data so this will really help you in your uh, development or wherever you are coding this will really help okay so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and please watch out uh, i will be uh, very soon i'll be adding the exercise for each and every python uh, sessions which i have uploaded followed by adding the assignment for my pandas and machine learning uh, videos so i'll see in my next video thank you